What's going on everyone? This is Jay Patel and in this video, we will compute the derivative of cost in logistic regression. So while implementing logistic regression gradient descent, we need to compute something called derivative of cost with respect to parameter W and derivative of cost with respect to parameter B. So that's what we are going to compute in this video. Now the formula for the cost function in logistic regression is given by this, where A are our predictions, which is given by sigmoid of W transpose X plus B. And W and B are our parameter, X is our input feature, and sigma is our sigmoid function. And sigmoid function looks something like this. Now sometimes A is also represented by Y hat, but I am representing it here with A for better notation. And here are some of uh, the common derivatives that I have listed, which we will be using to compute the derivative. And if you do not have any knowledge about derivatives, then click on the I button right here. It will take you to the playlist, which explains derivative very simply, very well for completely for beginners. And I think that will be very beneficial for you to understand any kind of uh, most of the machine learning models. But if you do have some little bit knowledge about derivatives, then I think this video will be enough for you. So let's get started with our video. Now, this thing here will represent the error for one observation. Let's say our data set have m number of observation, then the cost function will be average of all these errors. So we can write this error as loss or error as minus of and also here w can be a matrix of many parameters as w1, w2 up till wn and b will be just a single parameter. So for finding del cost by del w, what we can do is first we can find del l by del w1 and then we can find del l by del w2 and from there we can compute del cost by del w. So this will be simpler to calculate. So let's calculate that. Now, so let's find del L by del W. And for simplicity, I'm writing W1 as W for now. Now there is something called chain rule in derivatives, which says that to compute del L by del W, we can compute del L by del A first and multiply it with by del A by del W. And this also we can compute by del L by del A into del A by del Z into del Z by del W. So we will compute all these three and then we will multiply all and we will get our del L by del W. So let's find del L by del A first. Now let's compute del L by del A. Here Y are our predictions and thus it will be constant and derivative of log of x is 1 by x. So it will be minus of y upon a. And then here it will be minus 1. 1 minus of y upon 1 minus of a. And then we will also need to do the derivative of 1 minus of a, which will be 0 plus of minus 1. So minus 1 will get cancelled and it will be plus here. So we got our del L by del a. Now let's compute del A by del Z. Now you can see from this formula that uh, we can write A as uh, 1 plus of e power minus Z power minus 1. So with this formula, uh, you, can, you will also be able to see this formula in the description. However, n is minus 1 and 1 plus of e power minus Z is f of x. So our derivative will come out to be minus of minus 1 upon 1 plus of e power minus z whole square. And then again, the derivative of f of x, which will be the derivative of this term, which will be m minus z multiplied by minus 1. And so it will be plus. So our del a by del z will come out to be e power minus z upon 1 plus of e power minus z square. Now you can see that a is 1 upon 1 plus of e power minus z. So this is nothing but a square. So a square is 1 upon 1 plus of e power minus z whole square. And we can also write e power minus z in terms of a and it will come out to be 1 minus of a upon a. So del a by del z we can write as 
वन माइनस ऑफ ए अपॉन ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ए स्क्वायर इट विल बी नथिंग बट ए इंटू वन माइनस ऑफ ए सो वी गॉट अवर डेल ए बाई डेल जी हैज ए इंटू वन माइनस ऑफ ए नाउ लेट्स कंप्लीट अवर डेल जी बाई डेल डब्ल्यू हियर जी इज गिवन बाई डब्ल्यू एक्स प्लस बी सो डेल जी बाई डेल डब्ल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस जीरो एंड थस ओनली एक्स सो अवर डेल जी बाई डेल डब्ल्यू इज नथिंग बट एक्स सो वी गॉट ऑल ऑफ अवर थ्री टर्म्स सो वी विल मल्टीप्लाई ऑल दीज थ्री एंड वी विल फाइंड अवर डेल एल बाई डेल डब्ल्यू सो अवर डेल एल बाई डेल डब्ल्यू विल कम आउट बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग ऑल दीज थ्री सो इट विल बी नाउ वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस एक्सप्रेशन एज माइनस ऑफ वाई प्लस ए वाई प्लस ए माइनस ए वाई अपॉन ए इंटू वन माइनस ऑफ ए एंड रेस्ट द सेम एंड दिस एंड दिस विल बी कैंसल सो वी विल बी लेफ्ट विथ ए माइनस वाई अपॉन ए एम नाउ दिस एंड दिस विल बी कैंसल सो वी विल बी लेफ्ट विथ ए माइनस वाई इंटू एक्स सो दिस इज अवर फाइनल डेल एल बाई डेल डब्ल्यू now we, now if we want to find del l by del w1 we can just we can just have it by a minus y into x1 now note that here a y and x are all for only one single observation so a is the prediction for one observation y is the actual output of one observation and x is the input of that single observation similarly we can find del l by del 2 by del w2 and so on now we can combine all these into single del l by del capital w equal to a minus of y multiplied by x so now all these are represented in the matrix form so here w is the matrix of all the w parameters a is the matrix of all the predictions y is the matrix of all the output values and x is the complete input for all the observation so we got our del l by del w as a minus y into x similarly as this is for all the observation we don't need to write l here we can just write del cost by del w which is a minus of y multiplied by x because we are considering all observations here so this is our del cost by del w now let's find del cost by del b now to find del l by del b we can just multiply these three terms and we already had these two now del z by del b will be just one because here th this is a partial derivative so this will be considered as constant so we will be only computing derivative of b which will be just one so let's multiply this and we will get so we got our del l by del b as just a minus y this was for one observation now if we are considering all the observation then we will have our del cost by del b as matrix of a minus y that's all so we got our derivatives now if you find this video valuable then hit the red subscribe button because i upload new machine learning videos every week and also check out my other videos and i see you in the next video